The first one of our biggest complaints is the usurpation of the role of the commission by the chairman. Uh, the constitution is very clear that uh, the elections are supposed to be run by the commission, uh, which means that all the commissioners, uh, the seven of them, are supposed to be engaged in the process. And their take on every issue that arises is what informs what the chairman then comes to announce. Uh, we, in this election, ended up in a position where the chairman led a minority group of commissioners, uh, made decisions about the outcomes and the processes, and ended up uh, having to make an announcement in which four who are the majority of his commission uh, rejected and, and did not agree with uh, the results that he had come up with. Uh, our second point is that this election was literally state managed. Uh, over, over time, ever since technology came into Kenyan elections, we have continuously had attempts at interfering with technology. Uh, this time they kind of went too far and had perfected the system. They controlled the provider of the technology, they could receive results, and before posting them on the portal, were able to change those results. And uh, in court we shall be able to show that there are documents that were altered, and sometimes in fact entirely new documents uploaded. Several uh, weeks before the election was uh, conducted, we went to Greece, uh, the invitation of a commission to supervise the printing of ballots. And when we got there, we found out that they had printed a parallel set of result declaration form A's. Uh, when we came back, a parallel set with different serial numbers, and when we came back and asked them why they were having two separate booklets, uh, they then said that uh, they would not be using one of the booklets, and they put it in the Kenya Gazette. But that booklet appeared, and it is that booklet that was used to, to stage the results of this election. And are you confident that with what you have, this case is going through? We are confident that the complaints we have uh, in, in the constitutionality of it and uh, in, in the fraud that, that was exercised that we shall be successful. Mm -hmm. So what are you looking for, a rerun or a recount? We would want a retali, but the problem is that uh, when it comes to a retali, you would have still to go through a process of verification of the documents. Uh, at the time that the results were being announced, the commission had not sat down to make decisions on the complaints that we had made about various forms that had cropped up. So if the court were to allow that there would be a retali, they would also have to first allow the verification process that uh, had not been conducted to first be conducted. Now, you know, issues around election fraud are not easy. Are you confident that you're up to the task? This more than ever uh, becomes one of the clearest cases uh, where there has been very obvious fraud in the election. It's, it's the most audacious attempt at, at manipulating the elections in Kenya. In case this is not ruled in Raila Odinga's favor, are you committing that you will ask his followers to be peaceful and accept the court's decision? Raila Odinga has been very clear on that, and that was very apparent even in the way people responded uh, to the re results that were announced. Everybody knew that those results had been state managed. Uh, nothing is going to change from that. The commitment still stands and the peace that the people want to see, I think they're still committed to it. Five times contesting for presidency, he's not gotten through. Three times going to the Supreme Court petitioning the presidential results. If this is not ruled in his favor, where does it leave his legacy? Uh, if you look at all the developments, including the, the now the use of electronic transmission and electronic voter identification, are things that he himself has fought for. And so there's a bigger picture other than just the pursuit of the presidency uh, that Raila has, and that is the attempt to ensure that we have such reforms that uh, develops, uh, helps us develop a democratic state.